All right, guys. So I just got back home, and you know, it's been an okay day. You know, I would say that it was a productive day. You know, sometimes, you know, we get distracted and shit. But you know, my productivity needs to get better over time because you know, during this whole you know switch of habits and you know going back how I was you know like two three years ago, you know, it was very recent. You know, some people say that you can change like you know. In like six months, and I can truly believe it, you know. But it just depends how focused you are, because I don't know, man. You know, from my experience, you know, I don't talk to many people right now just because of what I'm doing. But you know, in the future, I guess. Well, actually, I don't guess. You know, I can confidently say that I need to socialize even more, because you know, when you socialize more, you can actually see how people work. Because you know, there's a science how people work. You know, it sounds very easy. You know, maybe some people li listening or watching to this, they might say, "Well, dude, I mean, how can you not tell how people you know are doing, or how can you not tell that guy is mad or sad or excited or whatever, right?" And you know, well, you know, <laughs> you well, all I can say is that you know, some people have better EQs, you know, emotional quotient, right, e emotional intelligence. Or some people have better IQs, you know, they're like good on textbooks, they're good, you know, at reading, they're good at, you know, memorizing shit. Because if you guys did not know, all that school is, right, or college, or, you know, all that school is, is just memorizing. Who has a better memorizing game? I can tell you that, you know, from experience, I don't have a very good memorization. I, you know, I need to read and read or listen or, you know, visually learn or visually see what you're doing or what someone is doing in order for me to actually learn. So, you know, that's my type of learning. You know, if someone is talking or if someone is giving a conference like right now, I was actually listening to um, Alex Ramosa because, you know, he's a big inspiration in this community. And, you know, I can listen to him, you know, while I'm in the car. But, you know, it's not like I'm going to make, you know, mental notes. They're just not going to go in here. Impossible. You know, some people say that they can, you know, learn by listening. And, you know, I can believe it, you know. However you learn, you know, it's good for you. Just, you know, use it for yourself, you know. Don't copy what everybody is doing or what anybody is doing. Because, you know, there's always that one person. And, you know, I can include in this myself that in, you know, in a classroom, let's say in high school. In a classroom where there's like 20 plus people, you know, 20 plus people, 20 plus students and one teacher. The teacher is just doing her job or his job. And it's teaching teaching you how he does, you know, how he teaches. That might not apply to you. You might not learn shit. And, you know, that's what happened to me. The teacher will, you know, write things on the board. She would probably call on someone and, hey, read this paragraph, you know. Like, for example, I used to have this teacher, you know, English and history teacher when I was a son for a year. And she was actually, you know, the teacher that ended up having or actually I forgot what this was called in my school. But, you know, when we graduated, you know, seniors had their teacher, right? Their professor, pretty much that, you know, talked in front of us. And, you know, um, she pretty much represented the whole class, the whole senior class, you know. I forgot the name of it or the title of it, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. But, you know, that teacher, man, fuck, dude. It's not that I hated her. It's just that I didn't understand, you know. At the time, I'm like, damn, bro. Like, what is she talking about? I don't understand a single thing. And it's not like I'm going to be the only one out of fucking 20 or 30 people. I'm like, hey, man, I don't understand. Because back then, you know, my English was okay. I can understand and I can communicate somewhat to people but you know it wasn't fluent you know it wasn't like right now you might be asking yourself well i mean you're talking to a camera right now well yeah duh i feel comfortable here but if you have me standing in front of like 10 to 20 people i'll probably be like you know a little shy you know be like oh you guys you know unless i know you then sure but you know new people i'm like oh you know it's like a little not weird but you know it's hard and you know i'm trying to get that fear out of the way because you know i need to well, we come that fear eventually. If not, then how the fuck am I going to eat if I want to do stand-up comedy someday, right? And so, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you can see, but I got the computer back. Yeah, I think you can see that. We got the computer back. I don't like Naruto. It's just how it was. But, you know, we're thankful for that. Right now, I'm trying to see if the computer works because I got it. Actually, I, I got it a day ago and it didn't work. It was, you know, restarting and it started saying recovery and you know 
it got installed Windows 10 or 11, but since the computer is very old, then, you know, it's not going to support several applications and several updates. So, you know, I might, you know, be say a goodbye because you know this computer is actually the one that it lasted for like two years and i'm like damn bro we got some good memories me and this computer you know many videos many editing videos many i i play games on this shit you know on the 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 actual pc is down there but you know it's fine it's it's whatever but what i was saying you know you know in one future in a f near future that i can really feel it you know because I want to stand up, you know, in front of someone or in front of people and just start saying random stuff. Start talking about my life, you know, make it funny and making it interesting, making it excited for the people. Because depending on what feedback, you know, the people give me, that's how I will know how I'm doing, you know, if I can tweak this joke here and there. Because I'm not a really joke guy, you know, I'm, I'm not going to tell you a joke. If you ask me, tell me a joke, I'll, I'll probably just roast you, you know, the way you look. The way you smell, you know, just appearances, physical appearances and how you think if I know you or if I start asking you questions, you know, typical hard questions that you might say, well, that's too personal. Well, duh, you know, that's how I get to know you. I hate having small talks, you know, I try to make conversations with people, but, you know, like actually hard and like meaningful questions, you know, that they actually think for once, you know, <laughs> and, you know, if you ask me a question, I'll be like, damn, I mean, I don't know if I, you know, and it's normal, you know, it's like no one's special. No one's, you're not special. I'm not special, you know, but yeah, you know, that was pretty rough. But anyways, yeah, I mean, someday I'm actually going to start, leave me a minute. You know, um, if you didn't know, I hate looking at the clock for either, you know, things, even in front of the phone, because I just, I hate looking at the clock and, and the clock and I'm moving, even though I'm doing something and I'm, I try to be productive and fill up my day with like BS pr productive stuff. I try to, you know, with the post-it now, I try to just cover the time and just, you know, let time pass while I'm doing something. And that kind of helped me because sometimes, you know, we have the habit of uh, looking at what time it is and then like, oh, shit, okay, like 20 more minutes. But now, you know, I try to get the habit out of the way because it's annoying, and, you know, it's not a good habit to just looking, you know, every 30 minutes to see what time it is. So, you know, it's just a me thing, but, you know, hey, it's pretty good if you do. But, you know... You know, what I was saying was that, you know, we all learn at different rates, but, uh, you know, the faster you learn, the faster you get the message of what people are trying to say, you know, like, for example, like I was saying that I was listening to Alex Ramosi like 10 minutes ago. I'm like, OK, well, he's talking about this in sales. He's talking about um, risk. And I forgot the other words, See, you know. Um, what I say, volatility and risk. And so, you know, he was given an example that if a poor person or, you know, a, someone that does not make a lot of money or the same amount of money you make per year or your parents, you know, even family members don't listen to them because or don't even listen to millionaires because, you know, they don't listen to billionaires because they know more about money. They know more about managing, investing, you know, financial stuff. That you and me are getting into you know because if you're watching this channel you know you're all into entrepreneurship you know and i hate that term you know i hate several words because you know they just kind of are they're triggering words which you know i don't like to hear like entrepreneur you know some people say oh yeah i'm an entrepreneur i have 20 businesses running right now i'm like bro shut the fuck up like focus on one you know some people say i'm good at multitasking some people say i'm like oh yeah i can multitask this i can talk to this i can draw an email and i can do a video at the same time i'm like what the fuck like what like, uh, like, I don't understand, you know, I try multitasking, you know, I try sometimes doing or, you know, writing a script or, you know, writing an email and I'm like, okay, let me put some music. I used to do that, you know, don't get me wrong. I used to do that, but I'm like, you know what? I don't get, you know, I don't get enough in my head that I can put the message truly into my words. And, you know, I start like, you know, typing and shit. And I'm like, bro, like so many people, you know, make mistakes, which sometimes they don't learn, you know, and, you know, I'm a victim of that as well, you know, like I always say, I'm a victim of my own choices and decisions. And, you know, it kind of hurts, you know, it kind of hurts my ego to say it. But, you know, the only way I can be truly to myself is, you know, talking in front of the camera. So, you know, or maybe in front of the people, but there's no people around here, huh? <laughs> right? You know, applause for me. But, you know, yeah, like I was saying, you know, if you're afraid of public speaking, I guess, try to 
first of all, you know, try to record yourself on the camera because, you know, one of the, you know, one of the reasons why I didn't start this over like two, three years ago was because I didn't want to, you know, I wasn't secure. I didn't want to look at my face. I didn't want to look at anything, you know. But, um... Like I was saying, you know, I didn't want to look at, you know, myself in the camera talking. I'm like, okay, first of all, what am I going to talk about? Second of all, I don't like seeing my face, you know, because for some odd reason, I think that my face is deformed, but, you know, I'm not perfect. You know what I mean? So, you know, over time, you get used to actually seeing yourself in camera and, you know, I have a crooked nose. You know, my eyes are fucking, you know, <laughs> one one is going to the other side and the other one is just staying in the middle. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, where am I looking at? You know, so I try to, you know strictly look at the camera lenses and not look at the side of the camera because i can see the 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 screen of the camera and plus you know i'm recording this on the laptop and not the actual pc you know on the desktop then it's pretty hard because i have the laptop screen and then i have the other screen so you know i have to purely focus on the lenses and talking to you but yeah i mean um you probably saw the first three maybe two three minutes uh i was actually door dashing and you know uh, I've been doing DoorDash here and there, and you know, it's it's not tough, don't get me wrong, but it's good practice because I try to talk to people sometimes, you know. Sometimes you have, you know, those small talks to people that I'm like, okay, you know, it's useful. It's a, it's, it's, it's a good use in my arsenal, you know, just to, in my repertoire, you know, to be more fancy, you know. I like to learn fancy words even though I don't use them, and I just use them on the camera because who the fuck wants to hear me say fancy words, right? Like... You know what I mean? Like in front of like an actual person, you know, in person. I'm like, like, don't be, bro. Just be simple, you know. Because sometimes, I guess one of the reasons why. Oh, like I was saying, um, you know, the reason why not a lot of people like to do this because you know they're insecure. They don't like to talk about something in the camera. They think they don't know anything, but you do. You do know something, you know. I'm actually, you know, I started to read like three pages of uh, "Crushing It" by Gary B. You know, Gary. Vaynerchuk, Gary V, you know, the entrepreneur and, you know, the digital entrepreneur, right? And so I'm like, you know, I'm, I already took some notes, you know, and the first note that says is smart and strategic content, you know, and so I'm like, okay, as I learn, you know, I learn more about myself and, you know, more about my capabilities because, you know, I need to expand this because this in the future will be a brand and, you know, the person watching this, the one person watching the whole thing, you're going to experience a whole different level of, uh, once again, you know, entrepreneurship and, you know, actually me getting out of my comfort zone. So, you know, I'm doing this for myself and for you guys, but mainly for you because, you know, the that one person, you know, watching this, you know, you might not know me, but, you know, in the future, we might be best friends. You know, I don't know you. Maybe someday, you know, you know where I am, you know, you know where I'm located, you know, you know at what gym and you're like, you know what, I'm going to go visit him, you know, let's see if he's truly himself, the one we see in camera because, you know, some people say don't meet the people on the internet, you know, don't meet, aka, you know, in quotation marks, don't meet your heroes, don't meet your idols, you know, because you will di get disappointed. And sometimes I'm like, oh, I mean, that's true. I mean, maybe if I meet Arnold, you know, pe some people say that he's an asshole. Some people say he's too arrogant at his age. I'm like, bro, like, I don't know that. Good to know, but, you know, I don't know that. Maybe he could be a great, you know, a great inspiration even more than he already is. You know, if I do meet him in person and, you know, maybe someday before he, you know, you know, before he hits the, he hits the ground pretty hard. I might, you know, just say, I don't, you know, shake his hand, take a picture of him because, you know, everybody who wouldn't want to take a picture with Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, the best bodybuilder of all time. You know what I'm saying? Well, best, you know, you know what I mean? Best in quotation marks. But yeah, I mean, I could talk about a lot of stuff here but you know i'm trying to this this is like my warm-up so you know i'm gonna make this a blog number six no number five i, I don't want to butcher i think it's number six but you know i'm trying to get used to this whole thing of blogging you know one blog every single day it's it, don't get me wrong man you know it's hard because some people they have the highlights of the day but you know i just want to give you the highlight of the end of the day so you know i probably won't show you what i'm doing because it's kind of boring and so you know at the end of the day the only one that matters is you and you know i'll i want the best for you 
if you get inspired to lose weight gain muscle hit the gym you know even start a business for yourself because you know even though you don't see me as successful right now you're seeing the build up of it you know it's like it's like alex hermosi you know i used to not watch him because i'm like oh you know i mean there's so many like gurus you know financial gurus but you know he started getting recommended in my in my page right on my youtube page and i'm like you know what he has i've heard of one one of his videos about sales so you know i'm trying to get into sales because you know if you get sales and you're pretty much good at everything you don't need a fucking four year five ten year degree to fucking sell a car so i'm like okay if i learn how to sell then you know that's a big step up because you know in the future i can actually you know tell people to work for me and so you know they'll do their job you know i'll be fair and ethic because you know life is about people even though you don't see me socializing right now you know it's the build-up you know but you know at the end of the day i need to make sure i keep my self-accountability with you guys and with myself even you know first of all for myself because i need to be self-accountable with things i learn and i will apply in the future and so you go and so you go and so you know the more opportunities this gives me the more i will expand my my brain and my thinking and my um, knowing and my knowledge you know my knowing knowledge you know like ty lopez knowledge right so you know it's um it's a pretty big um journey that i'm going through um and you know it wouldn't hurt to document everything because you know like this guy um Eman Gatsi, he started like he was 16 and now he's like 22 21 22 and he's already like a multi-millionaire and like okay good for him good inspiration you know and so you know right now i'm, in, I'm 20 i'm about to be 21 in april and so you know i got a lot of things to do um you know i am human i am a person you know but i like to enjoy sometimes myself but sometimes it's just like watching a movie or two movies you know i don't drink i don't smoke weed i don't smoke anything i don't do drugs i'm sorry i need to eat i don't do any of that so you know it is a pretty big investment that i'm doing you know uh sometimes i do waste time so you know there you go you know something we have in common you and me but you know i hope you get inspired by this i hope everything goes well and everything is resolved for you whatever you're going through you know there, you know it's just life man you know you're not gonna feel good every day you're not gonna feel like superman every day and you know i would suggest for you to stop taking pre-workout you know just start lowering it down the dosage i know it makes you feel good i know it makes you feel like pumped up but you know uh it's it's not good for you but you know it's a good supplement for you know energy plus so you know that's just go you know just it's just, just a little thought you know i'm not telling you to do anything but just a little thought anyways i'm gonna end the video here i hope you have a great day a great night or a great evening and you know i'll see you in the next uh on, on the next blog which will probably be tomorrow so later bye